Namaste. Welcome to day 9 of our 10-day yoga for hips. Today we are going to be diving into tight hips. Stretching your hip flexors will bring more mobility and flexibility into your entire hips. So opening up the front of your hip flexor is going to be today's main target. As we sit up tall, let's bring the awareness into this present moment with eyes closed. Begin to stay inward. Breathe in through your nose. Big sigh, open mouth. Dropping your arms down by your side, circling forward and up toward to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, circling your arms down by your side. Shall we repeat twice more? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, circle the arms down. One last round. Very nice. Extending arms forward and up once more. Catching your right arm, gently lifting up, lifting up higher. Exhale, lower your arms down by your side, big shoulder roll. Circle the arms up over your head. This time catching your left arm, lifting up longer, sit bones pressing. Exhale, lower your hands all the way down again, big shoulder roll. Very nice. Open your legs a little bit wider for seated cats and cows. Hold onto your thighs or further to your knees. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale to seated cat. Unlocking your spine one vertebra at a time. Breathing goes all the way up to your brain. Exhalation, slowly empty your breath, rounding your spine back. Shall we add in one last round? Beautiful. Coming back to neutral, opening up to your left leg straight out to the side and your full body going toward the right left leg. So either you can catch your thigh or hold onto the chair, scooping your right leg straight back. So your heel facing up, your ball of your back foot pressing down and also your left hamstring pressing down to the chair so you feel more steady with your seated so feeling your right and left hip facing straight forward if this is too much on your lower back you can lean a little bit forward now keep your back knee up breathe in and relaxing your knee down Three, lifting up to your back knee and lower down. Lifting up to your knee up and take it down. One last round, lifting up and hold. Three, belly drawn in, shoulders relaxed. Two, and one. Well done. From here, turning your back foot down. Keep your back knee straight, edge of your back foot pressing, and keep opening up to your left inner thigh to the outer side. Now your torso, hips, everything facing straight toward, to my, toward to me, and arms out to T-shape. Breathe in. Exhalation, looking over toward to the left shoulder. Warrior two, take full breath in. Exhalation, lower the left hand down. Right and reaching over your head. Extend this side angle. Let's make you flow. Inhale, bring your torso up, arms out to T shape, warrior two. Exhalation, extend this side angle. Keep your back knee straighter. Adding twice more. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Warrior two, to extend the side angle. 
One last round. Inhale, come up. Warrior two, back knee straighter. Exhale, extended side angle. Take a moment to feel your upper arm going all the way down to your back foot. Long one line extending. Take full breath in. Exhale, bend your upper elbow deeply to catch your back of your neck. Push your belly forward, chest forward, and gazing up toward to the sky. Let's stay here to breath. Keep pressing your back foot down. One more. Very nice. And this opening up to your upper hand goes up to the sky. Bring your body up. Bend your right knee deeply. And make sure your sit bones equally pressing now. Opening up to your inner thighs to the outer side. Hold on to your legs and let's easy rocking side to side. Beautiful. Let's adding some twist. Lean toward to the left side. And using your right hand to push your inner thigh and twist, looking over toward your left shoulder. So feeling your shoulder blades as well as your deep into your inner thigh. Back to the center. Inhale. Exhale as you lean toward to the right side using your left hand to push your inner thigh, looking over to your right shoulder. Beautiful. Coming back to the center. Now let's close your legs together before moving on to the other side. Holding down to the chair, lean back, extending legs straight forward and down. Forward and down. Exhalation, bring your legs up. Five. Four, and this strength is actually coming from deep into your hip joints. So you're not just lengthening, lengthening, but strengthening your hips at the same time. Two more. One more. As you're lifting up your legs, up, hold, shoulders relax, and then circling through your ankles. Other side. Soften the neck and shoulders. Beautiful, let's dropping your feet down and just shake it out your legs side to side. Now we move on, right leg opening up to the right side and you're also full body turning toward to your right leg. Let's scoop your left leg all the way straight to the side, lifting up to yourself so your hips all the way facing toward to the right side. And again, your hamstring fully touching down to the chair and lifting up to your back knee. Keep your hips square. Once more, if this is too much on your lower back, you can lean a little bit forward. If that feels pretty okay with your body, maybe lifting up a little higher. Let's bend your back knee. Lifting up, bend deeply, and lifting up. Belly drawn in, two more. One last round. Lifting up and hold for three, two, and one, very nice. This time, turning your back foot down about 45 degree angle, lifting up to your hips up. So make sure now both hips pressing down and lifting up to your left knee up. Make sure your edge of your foot pressing. You can feel deep through your side of your hip. Arms out to T-shape. Now look over to your right shoulder. Warrior two, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Let's lean toward to the right thigh. Lower the forearm down. Keep your back knee straight. And extending left hand comes close by your face. 
Extended side angle. Come all the way up, warrior two. Exhale again, extended side angle. Keep your back knee straight. Shall we add in a few rounds like this? One last round. Coming back to extended side angle, bend your elbow deeply, catch your back of your neck, push your head and neck back, stay, breathe. Very nice. Release all the way, come up, and let's pull your heel in, toes out. Make sure both sit bones pressing down to the chair now. And bring your hands back to your thighs, rocking side to side. Wonderful job. Three more. Two more. And one. Beautiful. Close your legs together, touch. Extending arms forward, lean a little bit forward and up toward to the sky. Exhale, big circling your arms down by your side. You can just lean back, relax your full body. Have a moment to just relax in your full body, mind, and even your breath. Notice the new sensation around your hip area. Now again, engage your core to sit up tall. Scoop a little bit forward if you need to. And pray your hands at your heart. Let's finish our practice with gratitude. Have a moment to notice how you feel and the efforts that you put yourself to stay healthy, physically, mentally, and energetically. Thank you so much for joining day nine of our 10-day yoga for hips. We have one more day to go. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you on the next final day for yoga for hips. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.